Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 58. As always, thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. In today's Tip of the Day, I'm going to show you how you can use Offset Mode in the Graph Editor to allow you to make uh, certain changes, minimal changes, to existing animations without breaking things along the way. And by way of example, I'm going to give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about because I think it's easier to show you than to uh, try and explain it. I've created a spy here and I've imported a, one of his taunt animations and he just does this thing where he you know, brushes off his suit and then adjusts his tie. I have his left arm selected. I just picked basically one bone at random and you can see that it follows and mirrors the animation of him reaching up and grabbing his tie and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bookmark here at the beginning of the animation and then I'm going to put a bookmark at the end of it. Now this would be in the scenario where it's like, okay, I want to frame this up and I want to, I want to be able to make some adjustments here. But as soon as I add a second bookmark, it completely flattens the animation curve in between and I'm left with this where uh, the arm is not moving relative to the parent, in this case the upper arm. So what can I do if I want to make a change to a point in the animation without overwriting or, or uh, um, eliminating existing stuff, existing uh, animation curves? I can go here and I'm going to direct your attention to this button here that says Toggle Offset Mode. And if you select that, when you create a bookmark, it won't affect the other uh, animation around it. And then you can uh, create additional bookmarks and then manipulate those like so. And notice that it even applies a spline curve to it because I'm in key mode spline. And I can have some interesting effects on the existing animations because by doing this now, this curve here is what's being applied in between the bookmarks. But it is applying it to the existing animation. So instead of overriding it and, and, and making the animation follow this spline curve or this curve, it is now uh, following the curve as an offset function from this one. And uh, I can even select uh, this bookmark. I don't know why I have a second one here. I must have created it accidentally. All right, let me clear these back out. There we go. How did I get two? Let me back up a little bit and get rid of... There we go. Now, now I can uh, manipulate this. And as we can see still, I can, I can change the way that the existing animation curve is applied. And this is something you can probably get some good use out of for modifying the existing animation sequences included with a lot of the Team Fortress 2 and Valve models like the Half-Life 2 ones and so forth. It's so, uh, a useful trick. You can even do things like uh, change this to uh, a flat tangent uh, or to a stepped tangent, which gives it a very interesting look. Uh, a spline tangent, and uh, I can give it a weighted tangent and can use uh, control and break the tangents apart. I talked about this in a previous uh, tip of the day. If you if you start to drag one of these uh, tangent handles and press the control key, it will uh, make it work separately. So now what we see is that the spies animation is applied somewhat differently. It isn't radically different because I didn't make a radical change to it. Let me uh, let me make something a little bit more radical here. I'm going to flatten this out. And then I'm going to do this. That's a, a little more excessive. Yeah, and so you can see that it did apply a change. This is what you might use if you want to make modifications to existing animation sets uh, or existing uh, uh, curves that have already been applied for either by yourself or by importing a sequence. I imported a sequence to create this, but another scenario might be you created a bunch of animation and now you kind of want to adjust it without having to go in and modify every little bit. Well, you can toggle offset mode and, and play with this a little bit and maybe maybe adjust the whole curve slightly. And it is sort of like working in the motion editor to an extent, but you're applying it only to a specific curve in one situation. And you can use these splines to, to and these, these handles to apply different effects. And it, it is a very useful uh, trick. A word of warning though, if you, uh, once you've applied these things, if you go and delete the, uh, the bookmarks while they go away, uh, and the, the stuff gets really messed up. So that's something that you're going to want to be aware of. 
uh, because you'll probably want to be careful about how you uh, how you manage this because you can't simply delete them and have them not uh, get rid of the. Uh, uh, it, it, it won't maintain the information between the bookmarks if you do that. So you got to be careful about that. But uh, with that caveat in mind, I think you can probably find a few uses uh, for this technique using the offset mode of the graph editor, a useful little trick. And I hope that you get some use out of it. Uh, as always, I'm your friend Jimmer Linz, and this has been your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Again, I thank you for tuning in and for subscribing to my YouTube channel and for all the great feedback. It is sincerely appreciated. And I hope you're having a great day. And until the next time, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.